all the worlds a stage, and us adventurers are simply players. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are at the circus, having survived a dastardly assassination attempt by these doppelgangers, servants of the Absolute, meant to snuff out any resistance against the thrall of the Elder Brain. But there are others in the city who will need to make use of our unique talents, so dally we cannot here at the circus. We must uh, be off and see who else um, could be of use of our services. Hmm. Always love a fellow bard. Uh, but let us be off, and I don't know, we just happened upon the circus just going down the street, apropos of nothing, so who knows what kind of interesting uh, adventures we can happen upon just in the normal course of us going down the street. But that is the thrill and the lure of the big city. I guess we should be just clear these... Uh, Rivington General. Clear these rooms or stores one by one. These shops, Rivington General. Okay. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all: clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? You have my attention. Um, how will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Um, <laughs> I always choose the bard answer. I like to hum a little funeral dirge at a sense of occasion. I see. Playing to your strengths, keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Uh, inspired, the rush of adrenaline does wonders for my creative process. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Oh, that's quite a question. Um, perhaps if there was no other option. I mean, yeah, ultimately, if we had to survive, then I guess. There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. Well, I don't know about that, but... Whoa. Uh... What? So... You're the Lick Spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's throne. <laughs> Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, you could kill him. Let him close and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> when you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Huh. So Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Oh. Uh, apparently I gained inspiration from that. Oh. <laughs> Try attacking me when we back is and turn your bloody It wasn't cow. me. I swear it wasn't me. You were attacked by a doppelganger. Is that so? You've got some evil twin running around whacking people round the back of the head. Yes. I'll tell you now. Is that so hard to You'll understand? Be bloody double well I'm done with you. Oh no. Uh all right, persuasion, don't fail me now. Do I have the biggest yeah, we've got plus 13 to Persuasion. So what's the DC? DC is 20, so it's tough, but not insurmountable. 34. Oh my goodness. Well, I... What a persuasion check. I'm sure it were you. I'm almost certain. 
Ah, uh, gods be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. Oh, so you're not going to sell me anything? Well, that's disappointing. All right, well, let's not um, let's not push our luck. Hopefully, maybe after we long rest, he'll be in a little bit more of a mood to talk to us. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. A little bit out of my destination, but I appreciate the uh, the thought. What's the rush, so? Can't we stay here for a bit? So there's not, uh, it's not possible to talk to everybody, looks like. Just some people, and not even everybody has a quest for us. I mean, trust me, uh, Circus is not, is not all it cracked up to be, but. But you heard Baldur's Gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. Hmm. I see your point. I guess let's just barge into people's homes. That's a that's a thing you do in the city, right? Hi. Welcome to the Rivington General. Browse carefully. Oh. The weapons are sharp. Look at this name. Ex Vikyap. Hi. Want a blade or a bow? I love the golden scales, I have to say. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Well, I'll take a look at your stock. Um, are you the one that sell oh we met the Smith already. Yep, that's me. Okay. Um yeah, he's had a bad day. Oh uh, alright. Yes. I just got to find a way to bother him. Huh. Without actually bothering him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone. That is an see. art, I understand. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, um, let's oh, take a look at what you got. We're a little light on cash at the moment, but, I mean, these are aspirational things for us to uh, pick up. Um, okay... Stalker gloves, those are good for a rogue. It boosts uh, sneak attack. Scale mail, plate mail, leather armor. Yeah, not a lot of these are things that I'm super interested. Like, our armor situation is pretty good. Ooh, this bone spike garb, that it would be perfect for Karlak. Okay. Um... We've got this glaive, which is pretty cool as well. Smoke powder arrow... All right, not a ton here that we need, to be quite honest. Maybe that armor for Karlak could be uh, pretty nice in the future. I guess we'll sell this stuff off while we're here. These pearls, this jade, that one as well, this silver plate, uh, and that. Yeah, that should do nicely. Oh, no! I didn't want to give it to you. I wanted to. I wanted to sell it. Well, I guess it's too late. Want more? All right. Well, I just donated a bunch. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing that that would. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. This looks like a quest. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people, holy people. Hmm. I'll be the judge of that. Open hand temple. Oh, so they're monks. The crying one weeps today. Oh. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. The, uh, the amulet that we've carried ever since the Grin Forge. This is where it wants to go. So, okay, so we'll deliver it here. Uh, in addition to solving a murder case, I guess. The best of us. I. I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. All right, well, don't worry, we are on the case. Not everyone subscribes to Okay, all right, you don't want me to look you don't want me to look in your bookshelf, whatever. Whatever. 
What? What am I looking at here? <laughs> okay. Sure. What? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. What? Listen to yourself. <laughs> you are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Man, a flying baby elephant Sherlock Holmes was not on my bingo card of things I thought I would see today. <laughs> uh, sounds like you were, uh, yeah, you were head to head with you that certainly guy. certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor. The politically convenient target. Yeah, no murder story I've ever read has ended simply. I bet there's more afoot here. The game's afoot! Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Alright, we're on the case. Um, what should I be looking Valeria for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Okay, so a murder weapon, got it. I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year, peacefully, mine. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Oh no, that's the who our friend in the amulet wanted to visit, so she's dead, huh? Shira's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Okay. I really hope you find something. Got it. For all our sakes. Uh, assistant to the extra planar agent. Man, they're just handing out inspiration left, right, and center. I didn't even really do anything. I just had a conversation, you know? Take up Valeria's serial, serial killer investigation. Okay. Well, can I read this without people being upset or no? A mask book used by the Broken Gods congregation during regular services. Oh. There are a lot of hymns about self-flogging scattered throughout the tome. Hmm. Yeah, I'll pass on that. What path lies before me? Um, so I'm looking... Alright, I wonder, should I be reading this stuff as well? A selection of soups. Alright. Well, I would like to read it, but we we have a uh, a murder to solve. Maybe we should start by inv by uh, interviewing Seems like a good the uh, the patrons of the temple. We let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Uh, yeah, let's spill the beans and see how they react. He was murdered. Exactly. Logan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Logan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Well, um... Yeah, sounds like your god would have been proud of Father Lorgan. I can respect that. Thank you, stranger. Astarian disapproves. Of course I he does. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Hmm, okay, Bill is uh, acting very sus. Is he just shaken, or is there more than meets the eye? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Maybe we should come over here and uh, the Compendium of of Consecrated Creatures. Okay. What is this plaque? Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. Okay. Let's keep investigating. Let's chat with Sister Rose. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick. I've not got all day. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. What do you want to know? Um, how did he die? Slowly. Lorgan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the hmm. bone. Cut off his hand, okay. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. Yikes. That is We give them everything. Rough. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Hmm. Can we investigate the body? Is that, uh... Let's examine, first of all. He's dead. Okay. Well, there he is. Father Lorgan. Let's see what's on him. There's gold. Rogue's morsel and Lorgan's chest. Okay. I don't know if they'll take too kindly uh, investigating his chest, but we'll see what we, we can get. Um, these, okay. Encyclopedia Apotheca, Arcane Paralysis. One particular page's corner in this curative tome is more dog-eared than the rest. Arcane Paralysis. Hmm. Common sources, and then a list of, uh, a list of um, sources, curative solutions. Healing abjurations, restorative elixirs. So someone was interested in um, paralyzing him. An end to suffering. Let the light of perpetual toleration guide your servant's wretched form to peace. In bloodied mercy, hear my prayer. Our most ardent petitions bring this soul afore your tear-scorched eyes, Lord. Blink, and let it pass into reverie. The poison drained, the sickness quelled. As I deliver this body from that which ailed it, I render its soul unto your care. Not very helpful in solving a murder, but interesting nonetheless. Um, okay. Nothing in the infirmary, per se. Alright, where are we right here? Uh, let's go up the ladder, I suppose. Oh, there's quite a few ladders here. Okay. We're going all the way to the, to the, uh, to the top. Oh, there's the bell up here. Okay. Uh, a burnished necklace. What is that? Is that just something to sell, or is that significant in some way? Um, no, it doesn't look like it's specifically significant. Can we ring the bell? Is that possible? Yeah, sure can. Oh, look at the ship going through there, or the ships, plural, going through there. That's really cool. What else can we see from up here? There's blood down here. There's... what is that? Some kind of bird over here? Alright, I think we need to go down and investigate somehow. Who is that down there? Oh, that's our, our friends from the circus. So if we wanted to jump into the circus, we could have done it here from the monastery, which is kind of cool. Um, alright, how do we have a feather fall? Or Gale can cast feather fall, can he not? I believe he can, so we might have to switch out our spells for this, so let's take off Witch Bolt and throw on Feather Fall. And he can go ahead and cast it on all of us. Ritually. And enter turn based mode. So we can all just go ahead and jump down here and not worry about um Cat with wings. Huh. Okay. 
Time for our dog to jump down. Great. I know that symbol on its collar. You don't belong to Gale, do you? Oh, Gale has a uh, a cat. Hang on, this should be interesting. Okay, Gale. Let's get your take on this. Heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Who? Dakarios. Can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Um. Trust him. That's not a species I'm familiar with. What's what's the story? She isn't my Tresim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Can you ask her to stop eating pigeons? Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? <laughs> um, stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. Huh. Okay. Oh. Received the Ring of Blink. Now that is interesting. Uh, where... Who received it? Maybe Gale? Gale has it? Oh, sure does. Um, we can cast Blink... Which remind me of that. At the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Not sure why we told them to stop... Um, <laughs> to stop uh, eating pigeons. Maybe there's a pigeon quest that that was important for us to ask them to do. And we just did this slightly out of order. But anyway. A bundle of letters. Guess we may as well read this. Oh, let's see the flavor text. A letter marked for your eyes only, but lacking a name. Uh, open. Okay, three items received. Letter about taxes. A concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. An anonymous letter. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. And Postmaster Shipment Enquiry. For the special and direct attention of Moa Moonglow only. Look, far be it from me to question Zent's directives. But you can't just take from every arrival without consulting me first. That iron flask you skimmed from the last shipment was exceptionally valuable, and we've lost the Ventham Purs as clients for good now. If you just give me a warning first, I can smooth this sort of thing over. Danzo. P.S. Be careful with that iron flask. There is something about it, like it was watching me. Weird. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that. These but the Zen, that's like the Zen Tarim. Whom we have uh, come across before, right? Postmaster Shipment Enquiry. Is that a copy of the letter that we just read? For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, Roa, you City Zent have always been consummate professionals to me. So I don't understand why the Joaquin's Rest Cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but have heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zerus doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Danzo. Alright, anything else here that we should pick up while we're here? Or anywhere else that we should try to um, jump into for that matter? Just the, just the, uh, 
circus, it looks like. All right. Uh, oh, okay. That's that's the circus over there. So we'll just we'll just jump down. Uh, is there anywhere I can jump and not be prone? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, okay, so a little bit of an interesting detour right here. All right. Come along, everybody. I've got some folks who are scared of heights, it seems. Understandably. There we go. Get them over here. At the ready. I venture forth. All right. Come on, Gail. Elemental. Cool. Is good to go as well. All right. Let's come into the kitchen. One day I'll catch a break. Brother Donick. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Um, looking to investigate Lorgan's murder. I know it's not fair. This was the best job I ever had. Lorgan was kinder than most. And now they're blaming a refugee for his death. Typical. Hmm, so you don't think that the refugee killed him? No. Brill Gore was a nice bloke. He came a couple of times for soup. Potato chowder was his favorite. Didn't seem the murderous type. But what do I know? And where are the bodies? We toss Brill Gore out back. Sister Rose has Logan in the infirmary. Preparing him for a decent burial. You could pop your head in and pay your respects. Okay. Um, we'll check out Brilgor's body, I guess. Where would that be? Exactly. Uh, down here in the bonfire, I guess. All right, there's a few chests here belonging to the monks, presumably. Um, I don't know which one is... Well, there's nobody here, so I could very easily just open these up. We have the key for one of them. Let's just try... Oh. Use Lorgan's chest key. There's a candle and a single piece of gold. This chest is deeper than it oh. looks. A double bottom, of course. Okay. Oh, confessions from Father Lorgan. Okay, let's read this. The most recent entry in this journal bears particularly heavy quill marks and cross through revisions. I pen this from the temple cellar, the only place I feel close to the ill matter's will anymore. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent, and I wonder who are they to pass any judgment? They bark that those who arrive on our doorstep bloodied, beaten, fleeing from heretical hordes, are dirty, unwelcome to be shunned. That is a crime to how that it is a crime to house them, to bring them into the city proper. But if my back must be broken so others may step to the light, so be it. Hmm. Let's hang on to this journal, why don't we? Uh, let's check our, our quest completion. So what have we learned so far? Uh, we should examine the crypt to learn more. Okay. Well, we've got to go to the crypt anyway because the spirit of the amulet needs to uh, to go down there. Register of temple dead speakers. I don't know what that means. Let's take a quick look. A death will often cause or in turn be caused by an imbalance of suffering. On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address their imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. There is Lashbearer Katrine, Sister Clarwin, deceased, Father Lorgan, deceased, and at the bottom of the page there is a handwritten annotation. 
Apply for dead speaker at earliest opportunity. Can't have none at next temple inspection. Sister Yannick, I believe, was what her name was. Uh, let's look at this meditation by Father Lorgan. Perhaps it could be relevant. This record, penned by Rector Yanis, consolidates various sermons of Father Lorgan, High Priest of the Open Hand Temple. Do not, brethren, mistake the wonders of gathered society for the decrees of those atop it. It is the duty of a faithful tormented. It is your duty to know when these decrees beget unjust suffering. It is not an easy duty. It is a duty that will scar your hands from carrying it, as it well should. We must at all times recall a central fact. To suffer is not holy. To suffer is a consequence of holy duty made practice. Ilmater does not enjoy his pain, my friends. He endures it because it is just. Our own pain is an acceptable price to pay, but it is not a good in itself. Some of you may ask, if you are loved by your God, why does he allow you to suffer? Why does he allow anyone to suffer? The question is strong rhetoric, but it has an answer. One cannot be healed without first being hurt. One cannot truly know joy without knowing its absence, but to live a life full of absence, full of suffering, would be to know only one thing. We enact balance in the name of the Lord on the rack, for it is right and it is just. That is pretty intense, if you ask me. Infernal Contracts and Bargains. Oop, Scroll of Wall of Ice. Scroll of Globe of Invulnerability. My goodness. To the good godly folk of Faerun. That is a lot to read. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it. Let's check these books, though. Scroll of Banishment. We'll happily take that. Finding more stuff for, uh, for Gale to, to learn. Uh, were there any other bookcases that we missed? I don't think there were. So let's head into the crypt if we can find it. Is this a bench we need to sit on to open a crypt or... Huh. Alright, maybe not. Maybe let's come up here, I guess. Uh, all right. Oh, crypt would be down here in the hatch. Got it. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Well, this is ominous already. With the, what? With the uh, the blood stains. All right. Uh, yep, moldy cheese. Cool. Good to see. I guess we'll check the wine rack just in case. Nothing there. Uh, let's save real quick. This feels like we might have a confrontation of some sort here shortly. That's the vibe I'm getting. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot going on here. All right. There's that. There's some sheet music. You know what? I'll take that. An elegiac fugue in the key of D minor entitled Ode to the Oppressed. I mean, as a bard, I gotta pick up this music. Of course. Plea of Rest. A hastily scrawled and slightly damp plea of rest, requesting to be freed of ill matters service for the duration of a ten day as the writer mourns Father Lorgan. So he was popular, I guess. On the Weary, Father Lorgan. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings on despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart if left to fester, but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. A little bit of uh, do unto others, I suppose. Uh, rights for the passing. 
A book of Ilmatari death rites, this page on the turning is particularly dog-eared. There will come a many a time, O oh worshipful tormented, that you will have to comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next. Or perhaps even more distastefully, you may be faced with a dying acolyte of a wretched god, keen to shirk the blasted afterlife waiting them. The Lord on the rack grants us a great many powers, but altering the moral velocity of a soul is one we cannot shift on the deathbed. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ilmater does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they passed, Tell them that the weeping God awaits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torment their soul bears in the realms beyond, it remembers not their body. So spare them at least this final passing moment from their hardship. A little bit of, um, of a noble lie, if that were a thing, I suppose. All right, interesting. What do we have going on here? I guess let's keep lighting these candles to get a better view. Uh, okay, we've got a door here in the back. I guess let's check this one out first. A crypt. This must be where Shira Klawin is buried. Oh, yes. Okay. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker. Born 1400 DR. Died 1456 DR. Alright, are there ghosts in here? No, but he looks like a zombie, so there may be zombies in here. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwen. Date okay. of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. We'll save her for last. Here lies Reloric Windbane. Born 1399 DR. Died 1486 DR. Alright, nothing in there. I feel like there's going to be some sort of confrontation with them, right? Born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. All right, let's go ahead and reunite the amulet with um, his uh, daughter, I guess. Oh. Okay. You okay? So... Oh! Possessed. Okay. Um... But now what? Honored Shira! Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk! <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me so I might no longer suffer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. shall it be thou? I would prefer not. Um, let's do. Let's roll an Arcana check. It's probably. I'm not feeling good about this, but we'll try. Oh, we hit it exactly. Whoa. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Well. I, so basically, the mechanically, the question is, do you want to learn Tasha's hideous laughter at the cost of, I don't know, probably disadvantage on wisdom saving throws? I'm pretty sure we already know Tasha's hideous laughter, so I, uh, I feel bad about it, but I'm going to say no. Oh, <laughs> Well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Oh, yeah. I figured that might happen. I feel bad. <laughs> uh -huh. 
I feel bad that our... Like, we've had this monk for quite a bit, ever since the Grimforge, so... Kinda, you know, it feels bad that we have to end it like this, but... Them's the breaks, and I guess we'll get the, um... You know, we'll get the XP. Alright, no sneak attack this time, unfortunately. Um, but we'll just do... One of these. Okay. And because we've done a melee attack, we're able to actually um, move without triggering opportunity attacks. Wait, what? Why did I incur an opportunity attack? I, I thought my feet prevented that from happening. Um, huh. Interesting. I can't say I completely understand that. Maybe it's I only don't incur an opportunity to attack from the person. Let's see. Oh, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from your target. So not, I see, not from just anybody. That makes that feat slightly less good, but whatever. All right, no worries. We have, we're learning. Um, all right, multi-attack on this guy. Cool. Um, let's shift around a tiny bit. Alright, we... Yeah, we're close enough that we would incur an opportunity attack. Unfortunately. Hold monster. Okay, that's an idea. There's banishing smite, but that only works if they have 50 uh, hit points or less. Alright, let's just do our normal thing here. Where we buff everybody. I could do a misty step to get out of harm's way, but should I? Um, I think I'm okay for now. All right, Gale. What? What do you want to do here? I could just do a a um, like a higher level fireball right on top of all of us. That would not hurt any of us because of his evocation skills. We could do Banishment, we could do a bit of Poison Spray, we could do Resilient Sphere. Honestly, I feel like a 4th level Fireball hitting everybody. That's going to be the most cost effective. Yeah, not bad. And let's tuck him back here. Alright, Lazel, time for you to go crazy, girlfriend. Um... Yeah, let's just do a normal attack here. Let's do another normal attack. Cool. Let's come over here. Let's action surge. Attack. And we'll do a menacing attack to get, make them uh, frightened. And we'll cutting towards that. And crit. Cool. Let's see. There's not many things we could do with our bonus action, are there? There's this mage hand that I could summon, but honestly, it's got the time, you know? Alright, they're gonna get a hit off of me for four damage, but... Uh, yeah, repost, cool. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, um... Let's hide. And then let's do a sneak attack on... Not the air elemental on this guy here. Nice. That was a pretty good shot. How much health does he have? Three, uh, <laughs> three HP, of course. All right, then let's hide back here again out of the doorway. Uh, the elemental should be able to clean this up. There we go. And then we'll get a little bit closer right here and turn. Honestly, we'll just do a vicious mockery on this guy. Yeah. Not too worried about them. And honestly, yeah, just one guy left. Let's just... A simple firebolt should do all that we need to do. Come over here, and then Lazel will probably finish this up. Ah, uh, not quite. All right, well, uh, hide, there we go, and then sneak attack ranged. 
Oh, path is interrupted, huh? Alright, let's have the air elemental go next. Alright, well, it's a shame that it had to end like this, but, you know... Sometimes that's how these quests end. Oh! Look, I'm sorry. I wish I could help him out. I don't want him to end up like this for all eternity, but... Hmm. A good night's sleep I hate to have to end like this. A torturous fate by any measure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why were my only options, like, I bear the curse and have a penalty to my wisdom, or condemn him to a fate for, you know, being cursed for all eternity? That kind of sucks, but... Those are the only options we get, I guess. Ooh, scroll of sunbeam. That alone is worth it. Holy moly. Okay. And then from the monk themselves here. Uh, some healing stuff. Cool. All right. Well, that finishes that, I guess. Um, <laughs> not how I expected that to end. Let's go over here. Uh, oh, a star you, you don't you don't need to hide anymore, honey. You're you're perfectly fine. Okay. Looking ahead. All right, everybody, come Looking in ahead. here. And head into this next room. We've got a Moida to investigate. Ooh, there's perception checks happening here. Be careful. There are traps about. Oh, traps, you say? Well, traps are my middle name. Um, Keep a blade close. I assume a Starian should have the best chance to disarm, right? He gets a plus 13, plus guidance. Just don't worry, hold anything super duper low. There we go. And then this is locked. I guess let's try just to open it if we happen to have the key. We don't. You gotta check. Easy. Yeah. No sweat whatsoever. Uh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Elixir of Cloud Giant Strength. Increase your strength to 27. Lazel would, like, one-shot people with that. That is outstanding. And then a bunch of potions. Wow, this is for sure worth being here. Uh, an hourglass? That's cool. I don't know if that's useful for anything, but it looks cool. Um, where did the hourglass go? Our glass. Oh, I've got two of them. Okay. Uh, Miracles of the Outer City. A record of alleged and miraculous phenomena in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Ilmater. Customer of G uh, Gildro and Glaren reckons he healed up mighty quick from painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmater had something to do with the irksome, talkative gent outside of Carmen's. Powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at refugee camp even after Temple closed kitchen. Uh, even after Temple closed kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins. Claims he's a holy symbol. Menop Nestor reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. A lot of dubious uh, miracle types. Ooh, lots of scrolls here. Uh, scroll of Dominate Person. Holy Water, I'll take that. Thanks so much. A Glass Chalice. Yes, please. The Would-Be Saint. Let's read that. The book tells the story of a patriarch woman who gave up her fortune to become a cleric of Ilmater in service in the outer city and now seeks to be canonized after her death. Herein is the full uh, of true account of my bid to be canonized after my death as Saint Bridget of Ilmater, the Broken God, he of compassion and mercy, the one who endures. I lived a blessed life of every privilege a patriarch woman can fathom. My parents were loving and generous, my community warm, our lord larder was always full to bursting. But in the years after the death of Savarok, my eyes were open to the world as it is, a world of pain and danger, a world where evil, if left unchecked, can thrive. I realized that my blessings had a cost. Why had I so much where others had so little? 
I could no longer remain in the gilded Elysium of the upper city and sought to see the world as it truly was. And did she? Well, the world may never know, because that is the only tome that we have of that type. Uh, Alright, check this row of books over here as well. Oh my goodness, Scroll of Slow, Scroll of Contra Elemental. They are being very generous with these scrolls, I must say. Um... Moving ahead. So what is the deal with this wall? Clearly, there's a way that we can get through. Or we should be able to get through. And I feel like we haven't... There aren't any perception checks or anything that we've failed. Um, Lazel... What, were, what if you were to come up here? Huh. So why, pray tell, can we not get through here? Let's check the journal real quick. Examine the crypt. Okay, we're examining the crypt right now. Time to rest. Uh... Is there a way to teleport? here. Target is out of sight. Not enough space. Can't quite do it from here. What if I did it... Is it possible from back here? Let's see if we can come over here to the very edge. Oh, there's the stack of books here as well. Um... Oh, I can. I can. I can misty step right here. Actually, uh, I might have to do that in that case. Cool. I mean, I'm gonna be on my own here, which doesn't feel great. But if that's what it takes. Then them's the breaks, you know. Maybe I can open the door from. Uh, from the other side. Alright, let's open this side over here. Oh, there's a lever over here. Cool. Nice. All right. And now my party can uh, can join up. Cool. Misty Step already coming in very handy here, which I appreciate. Uh, oh, man. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Let's check the map. What quest is this? Well, find the crime scene. I wonder if I we should... We should stay in this general vicinity. Is that are these all the blood stains? Is that what we're meant to be investigating right here? Is this in fact where the uh, crime scene happened? It's hard to say. Um, I see a lot of blood around here. All right. Well, let's save real quick. And then I suppose let's go chat with these NPCs and then maybe finish on that. Oh! Ooh, what? Who who or what did we stumble upon here? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause any harm. I guess there's some kind of big uh, smuggling operation going on here. Okay, well, I guess we're doing this here. Um, how do I... There's a way I can teleport, right? Or I could fly. I want to get as close as I can. Yeah, something like that. 
All right, and that's all I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to have to dash in that case. And come over here and end turn. Um, boy, this was not an encounter that I was uh, looking for, especially. Muz, Zom, Rud. They all have double uh, consonants in their name. Coincidence? Probably. Almost certainly. Um, we have not used our dominate person. Maybe we could have some fun with that. Target must be a humanoid. Are they not humanoids? Wait, what am I missing here? Oh, they're doppelgangers. It even tells me here. It even tells me here. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so that's that's why. Makes sense. I could do a polymorph. If I wished. Um... Let's do a good old hypnotic pattern, I think. It's been a while since we've done that. And we're cutting words. Oh, they're immune to hypnotized. What? Okay, well, now we know. Cool. Why don't you come down here, crossbow guy? Alright, a starring. Is there somewhere that I can hide? Yeah, if I come up here, I can hide. All right, we're hiding. And let's take this guy with the spear out, I think. 24 damage. Come over here and turn Muzz. Coated in malt, crawler, mucus. That's pretty gross. All right, Lazel is coming in hot. Uh... Let's have her jump here so we can get this spear guy down, I think. Uh, we'll do another menacing attacks to make them frightened. Critical miss. Okay, cool. We won't react. Let's just do a normal attack, I guess. Sure. Good stuff. Um, what now? Do a banishment, 75%. Uh, I could do a chromatic orb. What are my good level two spells? I guess I could upcast a chromatic orb or a magic missile. Maybe I'll do upcast magic missile. Torment. For this guy, will yeah, he's toast. He is toast, man. Cool. Um, all right, interesting, interesting. I could do this, um, it do some of these interesting, uh, like custom arrows. I think I'll just do a vicious mockery on this guy. He failed. That's fine, he's gonna try to get a swing on me. We're cutting with that. It's a miss. Alright, we're gonna hide. We'll do a sneak attack on this fella down here. And he's frightened. Very good. Oh yeah, we've got this. We can... We can go here pretty quickly. Alright. Uh, we'll do a menacing attack here. Do a tenacity, sure. We'll do another menacing attack. A lot of eighty percents that we're missing here right now, unfortunately. We'll do a firebolt on this fool. He's dead. We'll do a vicious mockery on her. And let's uh, come over here. We're gonna hide. We're gonna do a sneak attack. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, I think that's it. Next time, investigating the uh, weird smuggler cave. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.